Welcome to the post-match show on day three of ZK Beats in Premier League season one. We have we just had the fifth match and it was between Mirpur Khas Tigers and Larkana Challengers, which Mirpur Khas won by seven wickets. So we have this match now, and if you go to the match summary, we can see that Zishan scored 32 of 35 for Larkana Challengers. Omed. 14 of 10, the batters couldn't do as well. But if you see the bowlers from Mirpur Khas Tigers, Shahab 3 for 18, Samin 3 for 22. Shahab was also the player of the match for today. If you go towards Mirpur Khas Tigers, pretty good with the bat again. Mohamed Soil 46, quick fire 46 of 29. Asif Ali was also a fine 27 of 15. And if you look at the bowlers of Larkana Challengers, not much they could do. We've seen today's match and now we'll move forward with our post-match show. I'd like to introduce my panel first of all. First of all, I have Nick Compton with me. Welcome back to the show, Nick. And then I have Salman Butt with me. Thank you for joining us You're again. Uh, Salman, I'll start with you. Shahab, player of the match, 3 for 18. We saw a pretty good spell. Yes, indeed, it was uh, 3 for 18 on a good batting track is not easy. And uh, we saw that the bowlers, they were in the right areas, mostly bowling towards where the maximum fielders were. And this was the good thing about the spell. And when he came back with the old ball, we saw a bit of reverse. And that also is a high ball, you know, it's a very good skill. And uh, he uh, executed that brilliantly and got three wickets and didn't give much runs away. Nick, what do you think about the conditions today? Because it was a night match, the pitch, we didn't see a very high scoring match. Yeah, we're just seeing some of the wickets here, which, uh, you know, Shahab just uh, showing his accuracy um, and, and his line and length. I think he was, uh, he was very good at what he tried to do and I think his execution was outstanding. I think the wicket was good. I think there were no demons there. I think we all had high hopes that this was going to be a high run scoring affair. Uh, considering both teams had won their match quite convincingly first time round, but um, it just couldn't get it going. Asad Shafiq, of course, uh, the captain, the man that got runs in the previous game and obviously an experienced campaigner. We had high hopes for him, but he got out. And when he got out, the team sort of stumbled, couldn't find their way. It was a bit stop-start. You know, the, witch, the, picket, the, the wicket looked good, but it may be a little bit stop-starty and, and players weren't timing it as well. And uh, we've seen that these one-sided affairs in the competition so far, no two teams have really got it going and competed. So that's been a disappointing uh, affair. But again, Umar Amin and uh, the Mirpur Khas, they've been uh, outstanding so far. Yeah, Mirpur Khas, Tigers look pretty balanced. If you see their batting, their bowling, again, talking about, let's talk about the bowling first, because again, Samin Gul with three wickets again. So if you'd like to comment on that. but uh. Yes, I think the bowlers, that uh, the, the job that they've done has been brilliant. But uh, we also have to appreciate the fact that they've been really well backed up by the fielders. We saw three brilliant yeah. catches from the captain, Umar Amin. And uh, when somebody, uh, you know, catches, uh, those unbelievable takes that he took, I think that is where the bowlers, they gain more energy. Then they put, they start to, you know, run faster, bowl more aggressively because they know that any chances are going to be grabbed. So I think that was wonderful. Look at this, Umar Amin running back. This is the most difficult catch, one of the most difficult takes. And he made it look really easy. Umar Amin as a skipper is coming off quite well, Nick, because he's good with his decisions. His fielding is what we can see, what we saw today. So, what do you have to say about his captaincy, his leadership? Well, he's a top man. I, I've spent some time with him, actually. I saw him at the KPL. We had a few chats there and in the hotel again. And it's nice to get to know a few of the players off the field as well. Uh, he's an educated guy. I think he's a thinking cricketer. Um, he's been around now. And you start talking about selection for international sides. And he's at an age now where I think he's playing some of his best cricket. Um, you know, I'm not uh, a selector or anything, yeah, but maybe... To say more on that, I've just found out that in the last four years, he is the highest red ball scorer and the second highest white ball scorer. So I do not know what exactly is keeping him out of the national side who are in a dire need of somebody as experienced, mm -hmm. as mature, especially in the middle of the innings where you need good middle order batters. Mm -hmm. So I think he really is the answer to maybe the, you know, the Pakistan well, question at the moment. Let's hope the selectors are listening because uh, mm -hmm. he makes a good point. And I, I've been watching, he, there's consistency you need. And, and he's a man, when, you, when he walks out there, you get a solid feeling. Well, that's you, you, true. You, you get a feeling that he's going to be there. He's not going to do anything stupid. Although the shot he played today, he picked out the man on the boundary. He'll be disappointed. But uh, he, he sets a calmness and a tone around that team that I, that I feel is quite prominent. 
well he does lead from the front and we can see that quite evidently but talking about now larkana challenges also because they won uh, their last match against sakha patriots which was again a good side so what really went wrong salman well i think it was just poor shots uh, the pitch as nick said had didn't have any demons in it there were no such delivers, deliveries which were unplayable or anything that happened out of the ordinary it's just that uh, the moments they picked the short selection that they had and uh, also uh, you know not looking to make partnerships partnerships are very important whichever format of the game you play so if the batters do not develop partnerships it will be a difficult task to set targets just to come off the back of that sorry i i think the running between the wickets is an area that i think we can improve on um, I think Umar Amin and, and Sohail have actually done that very well. That if you get one into the, the offside and you go immediately and you commit, very often or not you'll make that single. And you look here, I mean there's some Sohail crashing Khan, boundaries yes. here. Yeah, I mean he was very good, wasn't he? he? He was good in the last match, I think he made 38 and he accompanied Umar Amin. And in this case he lost his captain, he lost his partner and he took the responsibility. And, and that's what good teams do. You know, yeah. when your run scorer, your chief run scorer isn't scoring runs, other guys put their hands up and uh, he played some really commanding shots, didn't he? There's quite a quick 546 of just 29 for Mohamed Sohail there. The best thing is that he is an emerging cricketer. So despite senior fellows falling all around him, he just stood his ground with a very calm head. You know, and uh, the, the best part is that he finished the game off. He did not ever feel that the job is done till the end. And that is the, uh, you know, best part about his innings. Right. The job is not done yet because, of course, we have the next matches coming up tomorrow. It's a double header yet again at the ZKB since Premier League. The first match will be played between Sakha Patriots and Karachi Ghazis. Let's see what happens. It starts at 3 p.m. And the second match then goes on where Narkana challengers lock horns with Benazirabad. Lals at 8 p.m. So don't forget to tune in tomorrow. We'll be live right here from National Bank Stadium. But until then, it's goodbye. Oh, that is a great shot. Oh, gone, gone. Chance taken again. Oh, directed. Designed it really well. Did the first thing well, caught it. Did he? Oh. So first ball is smacked over cover point for four runs. Stum and Asa Shafi goes after looking that good. This time, oh take on what a catch! Trying to attempt the slow one. Oh what a catch! Control was there. Balance also.